Hey, what is up, people? Hey, smoking. Long time no see. What is going on? Uh, <laughs> I am in the U.S. I'm not totally sure why I called it this. I think I, uh, I it's a grinding stream. There's going to be some grinding going on. Uh, not a lot of rising. <laughs> The title is only half accurate, I'm afraid. But uh, yeah, how's it been going? What is new with you? Was it his idea to form? Oh, I got a talkative badge. Or was it yours? <laughs> it was his. And getting rid of all the gray zones was him too. All right, we're still interrogating yes. this dude. Although when he first explained it, I thought it was pretty naive. But you went with it anyway. Why? because I knew he could use the Arakawa family to recruit lots of people fast. It was an advantage no other political figure had. I knew that then, and I was right. Pretty soon, he was delivering results. For me, following him was a win-win situation. <laughs> the I young mean, master knows exactly <laughs> he seems like he accomplished what he wanted like to you. accomplish, maybe. Guys who get all weak in the knees <laughs> just for some cash and power. <laughs> Come on. Can't expect me not to make fun of a suck up like you. So what happened next? Early on, people thought of Bleach Japan as a hey, small Aaron, what's up? Group Welcome. Of nice young idealists. We're learning the sordid history of Bleach Japan. Corruption and make society fair and equal. Oh, thanks. We Appreciate that. The city shouting those demands over and over. Really? It sounds like a waste of time and money. I thought so too at first. But Aoki knew exactly what he was doing. Mm. He had his ear to the ground. He knew what society wanted. What do you mean? Eliminating corruption, creating a fair society. Words like that have a lot of appeal. People thought it was naive, sure. But deep down, <laughs> it was exactly what they wanted. Wow, the young master so grew up to be so cynical. So for our morality, if not our practicality. <laughs> Crazy, huh? A bunch of youths who'd never worked hard, shouting for the world to do as they said. But all the attention made them feel accomplished. I thought people only did that shit because it's trendy. <laughs> exactly my point. We made it trendy, and that attracted people who wanted to seem hip. Those types are everywhere. Yeah, all the Bleach Japan people are so hip. Bumping into them. That's what I they think of that group. Droves. The organization grew bigger and bigger. We even paid a bunch of women to join so we'd be gender balanced, and that attracted more people. It was funny to see those girls bring in guys who claimed to be so passionate about the cause. Oh no, it's all so cynical! <laughs> Hell, that's how we got Kume, now that I think about it. Kume, exactly the kind of guy who would fall for some girl sweet it took talk. Some time. But eventually, okay, we had Kume. members all okay. across the country. That gave us an unexpected bonus. What bonus? Turns out, when you attack Grey Zones, the corrupt local politicians start coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> they just can't resist. They're too addicted to money and influence. So a bunch of corruption was going on. And this guy's really willing it to divulge so the evil to plan. Palms or even blackmail them. I mean, so often we would just stumble across info that would completely ruin them if it went public. You call that a bonus? It's a hey, bonus. Hey, Rye, what's up? I know, yeah, we're do doing the. You want. We're doing a wholesome interrogation now, if such a thing can happen. Politicians. We were like, we're going to make you talk, and this guy was like, actually, <laughs> I really wanted to talk. And employees at every branch <laughs> were 500 strong. Wow, 500 tight asses. But then there's the 100,000 people who join us for marches. 100,000? Yep. It's yeah, this is like two weeks after Ichi got out of prison, I think. Stop. If that. <laughs> this whole okay, game has been like five days. Two days, 18 years, and then five days. May I ask you That's the timeline. Kasuga-san. Shoot. Why are you here? Aren't you ex Arakawa? You know. If you want back in the family, I could put a word in with the governor. Oh boy. Hmm. Ichi is far it. too wholesome to be swayed. How do you benefit from helping the Ejin Three anyway? Why not leave all this trouble behind you? Yeah, trouble's a good word for it. Right? So why not let me go now? It'd make both our lives. Hey, easier. headed boy, what is up? Look, Welcome. I don't want back in the family. But I'm no ally of the Ejin Three either. No. 
I just want to get the guy who killed my boss. In fact, when all this started, I didn't know a damn thing about Mabuchi or your plan. <clears throat> get the picture now, kiss ass. We are not doing this for ourselves. <laughs> That's right, because we're noble. We don't we're do a doing crime. It because someone picked a fight. And we're just making sure justice is served. Unfortunately for you, you're the guy who picked the fight. <clears throat> hey, you're the one who asked the dumb question. Think before you open your mouth. What are we gonna do with this guy? He's just like tied up in this dump. What? What are we gonna do with him after this? Ichi smokes? What? What? This is the most shocking thing he's done in this whole game. <laughs> he just didn't seem like a smoker. For the record, I actually tried to leave this area and it did not let me. We gotta deal with this guy first. You and the young master got bleached Japan off the ground. What came next? After he got it working on a national scale, he started phase two. He sought out media attention constantly. Another brilliant move. Press flocked from all over to interview the charismatic young man behind Bleach Japan. He was front and center every day. He even went on some talk shows. It helped that he had a great smile. I really didn't think Bleach Japan was going to be story relevant. I thought they were just going to be annoying <laughs> for the matter, whole game. Look good on TV or not? It matters a lot, even more than what you say. When it comes to popularity, looks are everything. Fine. Is this story like this is the first time I'm hearing about yet? this, but yes, actually, in 2010. Yeah, Bob, right. I know that's the. <laughs> When he announced his campaign, he you don't have to do a crime, but you do have to start smoking. It's only true on paper. Sure, we all know he still controlled it through you, his loyal dog. Come on, keep talking. With the endorsement of the Citizens Liberal Party, he won that election in a landslide. And two years ago, he ran for governor. Was that a landslide? This is really too? a whole history of his political <laughs> career. <laughs> Why not? It was more than a landslide. His popularity was off the charts. More. It wasn't a fun. landslide. On top it was a that, super the landslide. Arakawa family dug up dirt on all his rivals. Truthfully, it was basically impossible for him to lose. The election was practically a formality. Mm. And afterwards, he just kept riding the wave. Six months post-election, he exterminated the Tojo clan with the Kamurocho 3K plan. Of course, he only pulled that off because the Arakawa family was feeding the him Tojo, Tojo secrets. secrets. Man, can you imagine running that for office? The same time as this? People are trying to dig up dirt on you. That would make me so nervous. Yes. I haven't even done and anything, but <laughs> just that concept makes me nervous. <laughs> wiped out the Yakuza. The Tojo just got replaced by the Omi Alliance. That's true. Once the Tojo clan was gone, mm -hmm. he opened the gates wide for the Omi. I know, that's what I I'm saying, right? We're like, we're gonna, we have ways of making you talk. Reward. And he's like, Why did I've been meaning to get this off my chest. In. Finally, someone who will listen to me. Quietly. No mess, no fuss. <laughs> Everyone just let the Omi slide peacefully onto the vacant throne. Did they even notice what was going on? <laughs> I think they figured every town has its share of thugs, Tojo clan or not. As long as crime is low overall, they don't care if the thugs are Omi or just lone actors. So how key You just enjoy storytelling. <laughs> it was the rise of Arakawa, both father and son securing total. A character power. that never plans living in a world that is plans on plans and plans on plans. The captain of Sometimes I feel that game. way. Pretty sweet deal, huh? Maybe that's why I find Ichi so relatable. Wait, hold the phone. What? Like what? What's everyone talking Maybe about? Maybe society didn't care about the Made all these vision. plans. But I bet the police did. You really trying to convince me the TPD stayed quiet during this whole thing? <laughs> they did stay quiet. And trust me, they had their reasons. Like what? Well, in the absence of the Tojo clan, the power vacuum attracted all sorts of non-Yakuza gangs. They were two-bit thugs going on little crime sprees, trying to get while the getting was good. 
They had no connection to each other, no patterns, so the police didn't know what to do. Soon, the crime clearance rate in Kamurocho was taking a nosedive. <laughs> Adachi's like, the tell me the, came the in, detective control, police information on this. Crimes. Plus, the governor would be able to liaise between the police and the Omi. It was a win-win. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? The cops wiped out the Yakuza only to find they needed more Yakuza. They weren't finished cavorting with criminals after all that. The commissioner's still taking Arakawa bribes. Mm hmm Huh? So according to you, the middleman between the cops and the Arakawa family is Aoki. Huh. So there's another three-way stalemate in Kamurocho. Only instead of the evil What a threes. Three, this one has the cops, the governor, and the Yakuza. <laughs> what the hell kind of point are you trying to make? The Omi didn't just stroll into Kamurocho. They had to have paid mm -hmm. off the police commissioner. You don't know that for sure. Don't play dumb. If the police did nothing while the Omi replaced the Tojo clan, it's because someone at the top ordered them to. Mm -hmm. And Horono Uchi ain't the type of guy to give that order for no reason. There was something in it for him. <laughs> what proof do you have? I'm asking you for the proof. <laughs> you gotta have something. Oh, well, see now, now we got bad cop. No, I don't. Adachi's being a little bad it, cop. Even if it does exist. After all, I'm just the governor's loyal Ooh. dog, aren't I? You son of a bitch is what you are. Adachi san, <laughs> calm down. Look, they got a whole routine. Adachi san, he's a loose cannon. <laughs> this guy missed his calling as a writer or a novelist. Yeah, he's got he's got a lot. He's got a lot of thoughts. A lot now of thoughts, a lot of feelings. Of Tokyo. Is he going after Eugene Cho? It seems like that's what he's doing. Yes, but his target isn't Eugene Cho itself. It's Yutaka Ogikubo. Ogikubo? Yes. He's the only cabinet member who's not totally cowed by Aoki. Hmm. The rest of the cabinet does whatever Aoki says because of how popular he is. But Yutaka Ogikubo, chair of the Citizens Liberal Party, is still holding out. A politician who actually has a spine? He's totally gonna get That's murdered. <laughs> Agreed. And he's stubborn. Under normal circumstances, he'd be a lost cause. But Aoki has come to know some things about him. Like how he also has some sway in the criminal Of course he does. Aoki has proof of that? No. He just recognizes the signs. Like Aoki, There's nobody that's Aoki like Kubo not kind of tied to crime in this game. When like just a that, little bit. There's a telltale smell that lingers. Aoki recognized what he was smelling, that's all. And if he gets Oki Kubo out of power, then he'll be truly unstoppable. But it can't be easy for him to remove the guy. It's not. Aoki wasn't even going to try unless he knew he'd be successful. But he knew he would be once he smelled that criminal element on Oki Kubo. We're gonna have to go campaign for Ogi Kubo, aren't we? <laughs> a crude way to put it, but. We're gonna have to go do some canvassing for so him. You were sent to the Eugene Show branch of Bleach Japan to help make use of this dirt on Ogi Kubo? <laughs> this is a really convoluted plot. It is, right? Like, I feel like we need. I need to, like, get the first thing a flowchart of the game's Mama plot Ch and characters and put that up. <laughs> yes. You told them you had the only We'll review it together. Support. He couldn't resist that kind of bait. You told him he'd get in good with them if he helped. Like, it's crazy complicated. Mabuchi's never liked the way Jincho is divvied up among the Ijin Three. And with his high rank, he's the de facto leader of all the other members who also don't like it. Yeah, you're, like it, it's, it's a lot more complex than I thought it would be. Pray would you send out to kill our boss. Ichi is right that crime is what holds society together. That murder got the Ijin Three all riled crime up. Crime is what holds friendship together in this game. Whose big brained idea was that? It was Mabuchi's. He knew it would bring down the Great Wall. Myself, I was never one for murder. Oh yeah? Well, an innocent guy is still dead. If you didn't give the order, then someone above you did, right? Why do they have flashbacks with images of previous boss, characters? Yeah. And <laughs> now <Wasn't> I know. <laughs> yes, it was him. I told him about Mabuchi's plan. Yes, in case you I forgot, that guy for did get murdered. So Our one-day employee. I a different plan of my own. It's the impetus but for the whole game. He saw nothing wrong with Mabuchi's plan. He was willing to accept high risk for high return. 
and he was eager to get the jump on Oki Kubo. The young master saw nothing wrong with killing a man? Not the young master I knew. It would have just been another Not murder, my young master. someone had to pry open the crack it made in the Great Wall. You talking about me? <laughs> yes, but don't take it personally. It was always going to come to this eventually. Mabuchi wasn't going to stop until he had an excuse to start a war with the Seiryu clan. Mabuchi! She's right. Our plan was to provide the excuse. We still don't know why Crime Dad chaos, shot Ichi. Yeah, we don't. Something to connect Ogi Kubo to it's the central criminals. mystery. Sure enough, we found a counterfeiting enterprise that's been supporting the Ijin 3 for decades. Jackpot. Yeah, don't take too much pride in that. You had a hell of a lucky break. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> People change we over the course of 18 years. Friends, <laughs> because it was Nanba who told us. He told us about the fake money <gasps> and where the heart Emma. of the operation was. <laughs> it was all due to him that we were able to mobilize such a large number of Omi. I would love to thank him. Where is he, by the way? We ain't telling you. We're yeah. the ones asking Hey, questions. yeah, wait, you're supposed to be intimidated by us. <laughs> Such a shame. Songhui, what should we do now? Our counterfeiting business is burned and gone. Very burned. <laughs> Ogi Kubo's already Very lost gone. a major source of his power. That alone is a victory for Aoki. And as far as what will happen to Ijincho, the ball's in his court. The queen of the Komi Jewel is so calm in the face of impending doom. Excuse me? This city will meet the same fate as Kamurocho. What are you on about? Soon Ijincho will be under complete Omi control. No more Great Wall of Muscle to stop it. Don't you see that? <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> We've been doing this. How long have we just been Yakuza. like hovering They're around this dude? Here. Uh oh. Shit! How'd they find us? Uh oh. How many are there? I saw five of them. But changes for Ichi. He like learned to appreciate the bread more. That's true. Calling for Look forward to that hot dog bun every day. Could have warned us a tad sooner. Hey, isn't he? <laughs> I've got a sharp nose for rats, especially when they're all in one nest. Oh no! <gasps> Chief! Not Chief. Sorry. I oh my gosh! You. No, Chief. We should be apologizing. Oh, I thought to he was you. gonna die. I was like, oh my gosh. Chief doesn't deserve to die. Here, you guys. We will, but you better let Captain Sawashiro know who rescued you. You got that? Fine, fine. just hurry up, Captain Sawashiro. All right, I'm pumped. Let's exterminate all the vermin. All right, dude. <laughs> Oh, I wish we had Namba back. I wish we had Namba back. <laughs> the last, uh, the last battle on the last stream was brutal. Uh, if you saw that stream, it was uh, probably the roughest battle I've had so far. Just because I, I did lose Ichi twice, uh, which is pretty rough. I did lose half my money twice. Man, that boss was just, I don't know. That's why we're grinding. That's why we're gonna grind it out today. Oh, whoops, I derage. I keep forgetting that, that another attack will derage them. Here we go. Oh, everyone else just kind of gonna hang out and uh, not help me out. That's cool. Hey, that's cool. Uh, yeah, why not? Try this on <laughs> I don't know 
don't know if there's actually a way to be strategic about the environment in this game. Or if I'm just gonna forever be kicking things. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Adachi. I can't imagine not having a Dachi. Or not having an enforcer, I guess is what I really mean. Right. I feel like he is often <laughs> he is often the real MVP of this party. Which is why he needs healing all the time. Magical voice healing. Appreciate it! I'm up! Ah, but yeah, how's everyone doing this Wednesday? Anyone eating good foods tonight? Playing good games on or off stream? Let's go. Oh boy. Yeah. Follow up attacks make me so happy. Wow, they have 10,000 yen. <laughs> that increased my style. <laughs> We showed them. Unfortunately, Got some kind of HelloFresh pot pie going us. in the oven. Man, a headed boy, I'm telling you, you are. Huh? You sure you're not HelloFresh sponsored? You <laughs> you're making me want to try it. It's they working. They it should pay you. He's gone? <laughs> Whoops. Yes. <laughs> Did not mean to take a that screenshot. Our victory. <laughs> Whatever. I'd already asked him everything. Why do I, I keep doing to? this? <sighs> Sorry about the fighting, Chief. <laughs> well. My people and I don't have much right to complain. <laughs> Seeing as we're not supposed to be here anyway. However... Yeah? Next time you kidnap someone... Yeah, report on the pie's else. quality. Totally. I'll, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna <laughs> kidnap someone again. Probably. Or will I? <laughs> Aren't I a scamp? Only, only, only one kidnapping so far. We're not really a kidnapping crew. Oh, you know, from the Seiryu clan. The chairman? He's never called this number before. Then it can only be bad news. Yeah. I see. Not exactly. No, Comey Jewel's system is out of commission. For once, I only know as much about what's going on as you do. I'm guessing the Seiryu clan's rank and file is probably real pissed off right now. That's what Totsuka was saying. She needs to join my party. <laughs> Her and Korean Anderson Cooper. Yeah, if only. That's yeah, a dream a team. I won't be able to say until I survey the damage. They're definitely but the most definitely beautiful criminals, I think. Yes, that's fine. If I had to choose. The Seiryu clan quelled their infighting. Captain Takabe handled it. Really? You made it out okay. Okay. Was there anything else? Yes. The problem with the Yokohama Leomon. Hoshino hasn't been able to reach out at all. Huh? This whole time? Oh, I forgot about him. We For haven't seen him knows, in a long time. Zhao could be dead. That's why he was asking us to use our surveillance system. He wanted us to check on Zhao. Can any pieces of that system even be saved? I doubt it. Damn. And you know what else? The last time Zhao called us, he told us over the phone there was a coup d'etat happening in the Lumong. Oh, yeah! I wish I could use my guys, but there's sort of a coup <laughs> There's sort of a coup going, going on, and then we never heard from him again. They ain't happy the counterfeiting was kept secret. Ah, shit, I'm out of time for chit-chat. Looks like we got another job ahead of us, Song Kui Song. And what makes you say us? Really? You know we're buzz. Zhao put your Komi jewel ahead of himself, even though he was in danger. He You're was totally the one buzz, who told right? us to help you instead of his own group. 
Now he's in even worse trouble, and you're just gonna leave him hanging? A fair just point. a bit of a coup. A light Besides, coup. If you want to resist a Nomi takeover, you can't afford to lose him. That's my take anyway. Jeez, Kasuga, well, are you gonna head over to Zhao's right this second or something? Surely not. Damn right I am. Well, just, just hold on a second, would you? Diet Coup. <laughs> a rescue in the middle of a coup is insane. You know, Diet Coup is extremely yeah, caffeinated. I understand. So, you coming or not? Coup light. Uh, who said Drink anything of about me sitting out? I'm so close to cornering Horinouchi. Hey, Diet Look Coups. We all started Hi, Coup. <laughs> places, each of us on our own mission. But now they're all yeah, this coming together. This is good. This is good. Good job, yeah, chat. that's right. And that's because we had each other's backs. So what do you say, Songkui san? You're practically part of the crew. Do you have her backs? Kasuga. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Think what we could do if the Komi Jewels started taking this alliance seriously. <sighs> okay. Yeah, now I knew it. Talking. I knew you Fuck wanted to hang. Day. Now, let's go and see if Xiao needs our help. Hey, you never know. He might be fine. Then we can just forget it. Now there's an idea I like. Just forgetting it. <gasps> Namba. Namba. I just got back from seeing my brother. Everything Song Hui said about him was true. Plus, oh, we didn't see him. him. Free. Nice. That's awesome, man. <laughs> I'm real happy for you. You know, Ichi means yes. everything he says. What's up? He's still got the long face and all. There's just something I want to say. Okay, shoot. Ichiban, you need to understand something. Ijin Cho is gonna be what it's gonna be. Leave it alone. What? I mean, why do you even care what happens to the Ijin 3? Why are you doing all this for them? Why not just get out of this dump? Why should you keep sticking your neck out for them? <laughs> You're starting to sound like you care about me. No, I'm I just cares. think you need to stop playing hero. That's why you end up getting used. Especially by guys like me. Used? I don't see it that way. You did what you had to do to help your brother. Help your brother, I yes. But doing what I had yes. to do for my brother, that led to bad things. It's okay, Namba. It it's me okay. Help the scumbags who killed Nonomiya. But that was. But nothing. <clears throat> I can't wash the blood off my hands. They're not the only thing that's stained. It feels like my entire soul is tainted. Like oh, I'm brand no. forever. All because of this goddamn town. Honestly, I'm just sick of this shithole. <sighs> Namba. Nothing good is gonna come from staying. Yeah, here Namba. And well, Namba people. didn't want them to burn They'll down. they end up just like me. The um. You don't want that, do you? The counterfeit money place. <sighs> come on, Ichiban. Think because he wanted evidence. That's why we're you did fighting. Eighteen years of hard time. Don't and let he blew fire at us. Shit, keep you a prisoner. I'm not the only one stuck in the shit, man. This whole city. Yeah, this whole city. We gotta save it. Ryu Aoki and Oki Kubo Gather. dragged everyone into their stupid power struggle. They started this whole mess. I'm just one guy caught in the middle of it. And keep in mind, I ain't just some random outsider. Me and Aoki, we basically. Crime have dad. dad. He's everyone's Aoki crime dad. Really put it this way, but we're brothers, and that's how I feel at least. <laughs> So I got some responsibility Ichi has a lot of people that he feels are his I brothers. Can't just walk away when he's causing all these problems. <laughs> You've already gone way beyond the call, man. I could say the same about you. We aren't even brothers, but look how hard you're trying to save me right now. You're a true friend, man. We're basically brothers. Don't, don't say that. I'm nobody's friend. You know what I just realized? We're not even all that different. Well, oh, please. No, really. You, me, Adachi-san, Sachan. We all just want to know the truth. That's been the core of everything we do. Figuring out what's real in a world full of lies. What do you think of that? Am I talking out? I know, ass? Namba! I don't Let know, yourself be loved. Enough. Open yourself Leave to it. love, friend. Fine. <laughs> but I won't say goodbye. Because I think we'll be seeing each other again soon. Is he still not back in the party? Call on me and I'll come running. Dude, out. I need a fourth party member also. Take care of yourself. Like, come back as you're our friend, but like, kind of need. stop him? Kind of need another party place. member. I even see where he's coming from. Kind of. 
Well, that's that. Let's fucking do this! <laughs> I'm ready. Song Hui, I apologize if I'm overstepping, but shouldn't you stay behind? And why would I do that? Yeah, join our, our party. people in the Komiju are scared and confused right now. And I believe your leadership in person would be a great comfort. <sighs> Please, they need you. It sounds like you got a lot on your plate, Song Hui. It's oh, cool. man. I know we were just pressing you for help, but you got your people to take care of. I do, but oh, it doesn't mean I'm going to abandon you, Kasuga. If you did enough friendship Junkie missions with Namba Stay, is it that kind that of game? Oh, I have no idea. Seriously? Well, that'd be great. I mean, I, I ranked up with him a good amount. Ichiban, we had a laugh over his stolen whiskey. Oh! <gasps> oh my gosh! If Zhao hadn't sent you to us, we couldn't have fulfilled our duty to Okikuba. I don't know why so I'm we'll uploading screenshots right now. Huh. <laughs> Jungi Han is a very capable man. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, he is. Thanks. <laughs> Hell yeah, he is. Look at this capable boy. All right. Zhao was last seen at his I restaurant. See. Hopefully still alive. People die at restaurants a lot in this game, so not sure. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Covert operations. He has a tactical edge over charm, brainwash, and rage. Oh, he sounds very, uh, oh, I should heal. I realize we're not fully healed. Uh, he sounds very, like, status effect-y. Um, which sounds pretty nice, actually. I, I always, uh, I can always use more status effects and debuffs and whatnot. Man, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all these crests. <laughs> I, like, wasn't paying attention when they said what the crests were for, and now I feel like it, it's, like, too late to ask, you know? It's like, it's like when you know someone for a while, and you didn't catch their name, and now, like, you can't ask about it because it's too late. That's, that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm gonna go deposit some money. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Excuse me. Very slowly walking out of that store. Um, Cause I learned to not have money with me, <laughs> ever. If it can be avoided, never have money. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna put away like 50K. And then, I think I'm gonna head to, uh, I think I'm gonna head to. I might actually go to the bar. Just have a, have a little check in, have a little feel out with everyone, you know. How's everyone? How's everyone doing these days? How? <laughs> a false alarmist. Watch me. Ooh, ooh, let's see what we got. Oh, that is items. That is not skills. We have head trauma, uh, combo beat, banshee bayonet. Ooh, that sounds cool. Uh, I can't see the name of this attack, but it is, let's see. We have stun smash with a stun gun, crescent slash, uh, sniper shot. Rapid shot and sleeping powder. Oh, that's cool. Um, okay, so he is very, uh, very assassin y. He has a very, very roguey feel. Yeah, that'll definitely do. If that's the kind of thing you're bringing, that definitely will do. I'm up! You're in for it now. Yeah, it's gonna be really, really hard to pick party members. Uh, if Namba comes back and I have more than four. Eight-headed boy. Oh, you didn't buy the the pass for Smash? Yeah, I haven't. I haven't played with Sephiroth either. Um, but man, man, do I enjoy the memes. You know I'm living for those memes, the Sephiroth and Smash memes. It's basically what I'm about. 
And again, I don't really, I, I, okay, so here's something I've actually wondered about is how many people actually play Smash regularly and how many people just try the new character for 10 minutes and then stop playing. That's what I always wonder about because I know people that are very serious, uh, very serious about Smash or that play it a lot and then I know people that are like, play it very, very rarely, and I, I know pretty much nobody in between, so I wonder with all these new characters coming out, uh, you know, I assume, and I'm including myself in this, uh, you know, most people just buy it and kind of mess around and then never touch it until, like, the next character comes out. Does Anderson Cooper join you when you go eating? I think he's, I think he's our buddy now. I think he's gonna join us for everything, uh, which is you know, very so exciting. And if this was the kind of game where you could rename characters... I would definitely name him Anderson Cooper. <laughs> uh, that's like, that is definitely like the most basic weapon and item shop in the game, and I have definitely never actually been there before. I'm just saying. Hey, my mysterious leaves came in. Man, I still have not- you know, the fertilizer is expensive! I'm like, I'm not gonna spend... $2,000. Oh, he's just ready to fight! Look at him! <laughs> Man, but with Namba gone, when are we ever gonna find out, uh, if they- if they figure out the- the whiskey thing? Oh, I don't have any social links to raise? Really? I need to get another CD, because all I have is Disco Queen. And nothing against Disco Queen, but it is the only song I've ever played here. Welcome. I'm like so cheap in this game, I'm like CDs. What kind of stat boost are CDs gonna give me? Okay. Can't seem to make anything, because I never have the right vegetables. Oh, if I get two garlics, that's what I need. Okay. Thanks. I don't think I have garlic bulbs. <laughs> this is why video games are great. <laughs> we better get to Giles' restaurant quickly, as we just like sit here very, very, very casually drinking. <laughs> you know, he might die, but after uh, after we do some karaoke and drink for a while. You know, I'm sure he'll hang on until then. <laughs> this is truly why why games are great, and why, why open world games specifically are great. <laughs> Very serious, high-ranking Yakuza joined your party. <laughs> Let's go check on my plants. Ooh, there's somebody to beat up. Man in a pickle. Time to clean up. You know what, man in a pickle? We'll fight you. As we have been assigned to do. By our gig economy hero work. Ooh. Dot combatant. Okay. Uh, yeah, why don't you get stunned? Nope, that didn't do it. Man, he's a... Uh, his default class is really, really good. I don't think I'm gonna change his class, honestly. I kinda can't imagine something I would want more than, than the attack set he has. I mean, I guess Ichi still has his default job, too. Come on. Uh. <laughs> Hopefully we'll we'll unlock more friendship stuff soon because I know one of the things that the friendship gets you is uh they keep leveling when they're not in the active party so I can I'll be able to deal with switching party members out more. 
Also, I really like that the friendship bonds come after you, like, fight enough people. Like, we're all just bonding right now, you know. We're having a real chill time. Oh, feels good to have four party members. Oh, baby. Right. But yeah, I, I don't know if he knew what he was signing up for because there's just gonna be a lot of like plant checking and sweet shop managing and, and just very irrelevant things in the future. I'm not back again. <laughs> Well. You know, I thought this would be a game where I change jobs a lot and like try different classes, but I've pretty much stuck with the things I started out with. Like I changed the job of, of two of the characters once and that was it. Must be really hurt inside. <laughs> oh, yeah, he probably was just attacking someone with on the street. <laughs> with finesse. All right, cool. Well, that was good. Nine minutes left on these plants. I actually never realized there was a countdown on the plants before. I always just come check them when I remember that they exist. Ooh. I, I gotta, I gotta figure out what these crests are for. <laughs> if anyone in chat remembers. I doubt it, but uh, if anyone was paying more attention than me, which is a pretty low standard, pretty low bar for me. Um, do not know why I keep gathering them. They seem important. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna go, I think it's time. I think I'm gonna go, go back and do a little of that leveling. Though it looks like there's a convo to be had in here at Bar Rodriguez. <laughs> oh, this is that one dude. This is the like washed up celebrity guy. I know, I love the part-time hero work. I should do more of it. <laughs> He's looking at like, who's this guy talking to? <laughs> That's very real. It's like, oh no, I can't, I can't get away from this conversation with this dude. <laughs> I wasn't listening to begin with. Can you go away now? Sir, this is the kind of, of, of blunt honesty I wish I could develop. <laughs> I wasn't listening, please leave. <laughs> She's still running in heels and he's still running in loafers. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're athletic regardless of footwear. I'm gonna intervene. Yo. This dude doesn't deserve this. This poor guy, he's trapped. Oh boy. What is it? He's just got like, <laughs> like, Sweats with. Is that even a scarf or is it just like a piece of cloth? I can't tell. Uh oh. I'm done being everyone's punching bag. It's your turn, jerk face. Oh, okay. Okay. Watch me. I'm like making fun of him. What if he's super tough? Super tough. Uh, uh, let's see some of these. Uh... Oh, this seems cool. Care for a magic trick? Whoa. When's he gonna come back? When do I when do I do my timed attack? Here we go. He's just gone. Oh, so I looked at the description for this weapon, and it is in fact a a popsicle. Or like an ice cream bar. It's not a bar of baking soda. Oh my gosh, he never even came back. <laughs> he just cloaked and was like, peace. He's also a magician. <laughs> Apparently. Mm. Oh no, now he's crying. Can't leave a man when he's crying. Not when you're Ichiban Kasuga. Mm-mm. Go. Never leave a man, never leave a man crying. <laughs> this is not our way. <laughs> you beat someone up and they start crying. Then you gotta go have an emotional scene with them. 
すいません。Yeah, it's better to forget. <laughs> Yeah, you should probably apologize, dude. I used to inspire millions, and now I'm the poster boy for alcoholism. Oh no. It's an actor from Korea. Oh no, I forgot his name! Illusion. Ill Eugene. Or illegal. Ooh. I don't remember. Oh no, don't give me a memory quiz. Oh, I was right! <laughs> I don't remember him having such a pun name, so. Yeah. It's just process of elimination. <laughs> oh wow, he's a sad, sad boy. Those were some high stakes. I could have not gotten the intellect increase. Some kind of superstar. Now he's a sad yeah. boy. What's a famous guy like you need to binge out here? Oh goodness, okay. Up until about a decade ago, I appeared in all kinds of movies from here to Korea. It was hectic, but I was living the dream. Thankfully, I had the best manager a guy could have. Never could have held up without her. Heck. Oh, heck. She was there for me before I made it big. She had charm, she had style, she was one of a kind. Everyone in the business loved her. Ichi missed his calling as a therapist. People just love telling him everything. I know! Anytime anything happens in this game, it's like, we're gonna have a therapy scene. Uh-oh. Hi. <laughs> I'm not a good therapist because I'm not listening to this guy. She ran across she ran across a legend in the industry who was involved in every flick that mattered. Got everything he wanted. And he was a sleazy bastard. Uh-oh. He gave me the biggest role of my career for one night alone with my manager. Why is he asking like just a dude she manages? <laughs> what? This doesn't make sense. Uh, I turned him down repeatedly, but then came the day. That monster took my manager into his car and started forcing himself on her. Oh, geez. Right in front of my eyes. And I knocked him out. He got the press to start a smear campaign against me, and it worked. Got forced out of the business before I even knew what was happening. Uh, this is also the plot of the beginning of Persona 5. I don't think that's a spoiler. It's pretty, pretty early on. Uh, how did that producer not get any flack for this? He framed it like he was the victim, and the worst part? He's still out there doing his thing. Damn. Oh, Ichi is not gonna stand for this. Yeah. We're gonna go beat that guy up now. Oh, now she's a bok choy farmer? Oh, man, this is... This is a... Oof. Mm. Oh. Let my fans down and ruin my career. Clean up beat image I worked so hard to keep was shattered in a night. Oh, dang. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Everyone has a very sad story in this game. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, oh, that's that that's those particle effects on that. Oh, that's, that's gnarly. Oh boy. When I said let it all out, that wasn't what I meant. It's not what I meant. That was gross. No offense, dude. See you, Keep going your way for me. Carry on without me. Bring him some water. Oh, geez. Okay. This is really like intense music for a, a, a mission of bringing him water, but I just want to make sure the waypoint is not taking me to the next story mission, but is actually just taking me to get water. I need to try. I need to track this quest. I don't know where to get water. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go to. Uh, how do I look at my missions? I can never remember. 
how to track. Whoop, my missions. Let's see. I think th I think this is the active. The active. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to drop that pin. All right, we're gonna get him some water. Although there's a lot of stuff on the way. <laughs> Well, gonna go across the city to get this dude water. Get I'm calling it now. You're gonna get stuck. Yeah. Gotta take the long way around there. Wow, that's. That one was not as cool as some of his other moves. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Darn it, he got up. <laughs> The environments in this game lead to some of the most amazing, uh, the most amazing, like, battle spread outs. Like, I thought she'd be able to just kind of turn around and hit him while he was still on the ground, but clearly not happening. I'm like, I can't even track, like, what's going on right now. Oh, jeez. Alright, you're gonna need to aggro everyone in Dachi. This is clearly... <laughs> These guys are a little hardy for me. Take the best shot. Take this. Prepare yourself. That one was a little less rogue, a little less sneaky. Alive. Come on now. You're in for it now. Here we go. Yeah, we're gonna need. We're gonna need some healing. All right, you know what? Like, why are we just in the biker area of town now? I don't know how this happened. Peach's group hug. Yeah, it's so funny. It will it will just make me think of that. I'm assuming being on fire is a physical status ailment. Yes, it was. Okay. Are you quick enough? Uh oh, I did it too soon. The first time I did it, I felt really good about it. It's like such a slow. That's kind of cool. It, it simulates like a sniper effect, but by just having a really, really slow, uh, slow action prompt. That's that's me. Uh, I'm into that. Whoops. Try this on your side. Hey! Well, Okay, okay. Finding water, finding water. Like, seriously, why is this music so urgent? I just gotta, I just gotta make sure <laughs> that I'm tracking the right mission. 
Uh, I think I'm a part-time hero. Let's see. Tasks, that's it. No, I I need to uh, I need to track the mission of bringing this dude water. Oh my gosh, the guy that wanted to make a bookshelf for that kid. I forgot about him. That was so long ago. <laughs> okay, so it's not actually gonna tell me where the water is. I can't track that. So I am just kind of proceeding in the story now. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um. We're going to head to... Should I grind? I kind of... I was going to grind more on the stream. Um, it really took me to not... Not the area of town that I actually wanted to be in, uh, which was, like, right where I was. Ooh, you know what I need to do? You know what I really need to do, people? I need to go... Turn in my Suji deck stuff. Like, I never went back to do that. I'm pretty sure it's like over here somewhere, like near Love Magic. That's the thing I keep meaning to do. The professor, the professor keeps texting me and is like, good job with your Suji decks. And then I never went back. That fame assistant, fame consultant. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I, ne I never take the taxis, but it's, it's worth it. I have money now. Um, oh, these are the only places I can go. Ah, uh, yes, the fame consultants. You gotta watch out for them. Ah, uh, yes. I might be wrong about where the Sujimon Center is, but... We shall see. This is hello work, right? They're not open, I don't think. Are they? I guess I don't really want to change jobs, though. I, I actually really like the, the assassin job or whatever it is. I actually find that super cool. And I like turning invisible. Watch me. You're gonna be in a I like how he moves first, too. He's like super, uh, super quick. Uh oh, the skateboarder did not like that. Hey, chill, chill, chill. Oh no, not a savage flow. Here we go. <laughs> My one weakness, busting a savage flow. Let's go. Doesn't Adachi seem like he'd have no patience for skater boys? He's just got that vibe. Where I meant to go. Is this the super looks like it's something. Can I go in this building? No. What do you got to say for yourself? A dreaming woman. If only I could be reborn as a hot stud. I'd walk into this club here and get all the ladies. Oh, that's <laughs> dreaming woman. That's that's quite the dream. That's, that's quite the dream you have there. It's not... 
Not really the dialogue I was expecting. I don't know what I was expect. I don't know what I'm ever expecting in this game. I don't think love magic has anything new for me, honestly. Can I go in here? No? Man, I really thought... I really thought the Suji, Suji deck center was somewhere around here. Go home and be with all my cute stuffed animals, friends. Maybe if I cheer her up, she'll come work for me. Oh, she wants one of those stuffed cats and she'll come work for me? Wait, what? Why, why was that? Why did you give me the option to hand that over? But that's not actually what she wanted. Yeah, okay, we'll rescue someone because we came over here. No intention of working for you. Oh no, they're trying to pressure this woman into working for them. Turn to hustle. An inappropriate recruiter. I'll show you how it's done. Well. Huh? Cool. Eyes on me. Here we go. Try this on your side. Here, I'm done! Let's go! You're gonna You know what's so funny? It's right. like this game. This is why I can't actually title my streams uh, with what I'm doing. Cause I really had some uh, some intentions of the grinding I was gonna do today, and now I just like don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Bye. Be, be careful. Sweet. Oh my gosh, I'm becoming such a hero to the people. Um. Okay. Well, it turns out this is not. This is not where the Suji Dex place is at all. Uh. So I guess I can leave a hostess club. What? Oh, okay. It is a mystery. You can stre strengthen the bonds with the boys by enjoying the local nightlife. And don't forget the ladies. There's plenty of things they can enjoy too. Uh, okay. Okay. While the boys play, the ladies will spend their time relaxing. Does this mean I can have other female party members? Ch sure. Man, this is expensive. Uh, uh, but that's okay. All right. Who? <laughs> what hostess are we gonna get? Um. <laughs> Kachi. Her popularity is the secret perfect middle ground before sexy and wifelike. Her husband doesn't know she has a lot of regulars. Okay. Pignon, a popular host is paying her way through college. She dreams of being an astronaut or a dental hygienist. Um, likes meat and dislikes hydration. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what to say about this. Uh, Ritsu likes fruit, but she's not very good at conversation. <laughs> Koro, uh, has a bright personality, and she likes anything sweet. Um, I mean, if we're doing this, like, Kachi seems to be the top pick. Oh, we get two? Okay, we'll go for one of the less senior people, too. Oh my gosh, and then we have to also buy food? Oh, no, I... We're gonna have one hostess, because these this is expensive. I have to have two! And this is when I spend all my money on just something stupid. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you all have such expensive taste. Oh, everybody likes strawberry parfait. Oh my gosh, this is so expensive. Water. Hydrate. <laughs> Gosh, this is expensive. <laughs> That's 
what I'm talking about. But I have to see the cutscene. Feel it. Thank you very much. Later. Oh. Wow. Guess guess everyone had fun. Oh man, I spent way too much on that. That was super not worth it. That was super not worth it. I thought something funny would happen. And this guy wants to be reborn as a sexy lady. Huh, maybe he should talk to the dreaming woman. They both want to be reborn. Um, yeah, that was super not. <laughs> Who is hungry? Me! That was not worth it, people. I, uh, I don't, I don't really know what I wanted from that, necessarily. I think I just thought, like, the, the cutscene would be funny or something. Hey, Yumiko-san. Isn't it time you moved on to something more appropriate? Hey, Sir Baron San, coming I, over from Prof A really stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Thanks for the follow. Why are they what ganging is... up on that dominatrix lady? <laughs> Why are they ganging up on that dominatrix lady? <laughs> Sub story Fifty Shades of Play. I I've gotten into prime. some seedy well, look, territory here. Hey. So to the number one girl and leave. But I. I Why are you all being so, so mean to Yumiko? Me. So for their sake, I can't just. Yeah, yeah, we know you're totally lying. The rep of this place has been dropping lower than that sagging ass of you. <laughs> this is some really weird cyberpunk. <laughs> Sir Baron, I wish I could say you came into a weird part of the game, but like, panties? you didn't. <laughs> this is just how this game is. This is not weird. <laughs> but really, don't you think it's time to put down the whip? I mean, you could break a hip in those. Why are you being mean to this dominatrix? No. I take pride in what I do. I've always done my best to help my clients leave happy, even if there aren't many left. I wasn't asking for your opinion. I'm saying you're nothing but an eyesore. Understand? Wow. <laughs> Do we have to fight these women now? <laughs> What's with that look? You want me to Never play the Yakuza games. I have all of them except this one and really hope to do so one right, day. Ladies, this enough. is the only one I have. I and it's, it's wild. Business, you're taking this way too far. He just steps in. Oh, and frankly speaking, I think you're the ones bringing your club down. Not her. Oh. What? Ew, what is with him? He one of yours, Yumiko-san? Only a loser would eavesdrop. This loser is only here because he heard you stirring up trouble. Half the town could mm -hmm. I was just passing mm -hmm. by. Then why don't you mind Pressed your by how business? weird this is. We don't have to listen to some This is not even like the nobody. weirdest thing. Like this game's it, out girls. of control. Let's just go. Hold on, Shiho. We're not finished with her. <laughs> yeah? Well, I am. Besides, I got an even You should definitely idea. play some. I So this is the only one I've played, Watch but I've heard the other ones are just as weird as this one. Wow, those are very rude women. Are you all right there? I am. Thank you. Oh, okay, bye. Where are they, where are yes, they going? There's always haters no matter where you go. <laughs> Sometimes life's a harsh mistress. That's totally, like, never gonna come back, too. Like, that's the thing about this game, is like, what was that? I don't know. Oh! Should but it I did lead it? me to a silver safe. Had some awkward moments in CY 2077 today, but this tops it in five minutes. I haven't played it. Is it is it good? What are you playing it on? Sweet! One, two minutes. Where is the freaking Suji Dex Center? This is the bathhouse. Where what's his name got murdered. Out of my way, out of my way, I need it. What do I need it for? I don't know. But probably for something. Uh I guess this is where I actually need to go next, but I'm not I'm not quite ready for that, I think. Yeah, I'm not ready for that. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, let's keep. I'm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to. Uh, I'm not gonna go to the leveling place, but I'm gonna go to the bar. No, I don't. I don't think I had anything. I didn't have anything to level at the bar, though. Maybe I will go. Just a little bit, just because I feel like <laughs> everyone did get very intense in this game. On PC, love it. Nine, nine and a half out of ten, but it has its problems. Expected the bugs and don't mind them. Yeah, my understanding is too on PC. It's uh, it's running a lot smoother um, than it is on consoles. Nine and a half out of ten is like a really good score, though. That's that's a that's a strong recommendation. I'll take it for. Turn in. Anything else to turn in? I don't think I do. Oh, actually. I mean, I'll buy some things for sure. No! <laughs> I have too many in my inventory. Wait, are you not? Here, let me talk to you. Yes, you. Okay. Gonna deposit some money, because you all know what happens. I need to deposit money so I don't spend it at a stupid hostess club. <laughs> Wasn't worth it! That was head on! That one was so on- like, I don't even know what to say about that one! I saw- I made eye contact with the driver and just kept coming. That was a weird energy for that driver, like this dude just like stares directly at them and then gets hit by the car. I feel I feel like I need to apologize for the driver in this case. So like that that one was very, very on me. I have a very high tolerance. You're just saying you have a high tolerance? What are you Hey, what are you what are you talking about, friend? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about there. Whoops. No. Yeah, the the getting hit by a car has been at least once per stream. Ooh, a half-eaten bento. I don't mind if I do. Whoops. We're doing it, people. Difficulty four stars. Why? Why is the difficulty four stars? Is it random? Is it based on my level? I have no idea. Yeah. So this was like in the uh, in the story. This was a level, like a whole area. Um, but now it's a place I can go back to and level, but I actually haven't done that yet. But the, the effect of this being a, an RPG is uh, you definitely need to level, and I am definitely a little, little under-leveled right now. Let's go. Yeah, you know, I think there's also for my Suji decks, even though I can't remember <laughs> where the the Suji decks, the Sujimon center is uh, to turn it in. I think there's some special ones it said uh, that I can only get down here. <clears throat> I don't know. They're starting out um, at level 20, so they're not tougher right now. But I kind of suspect as we get deeper, uh, there's going to be some higher level people. Yeah, and Sir Baron, since you didn't see, uh, uh, since you haven't played this, you didn't see the earlier streams, there is a Pokemon-like enemy collecting mechanic in the game. Uh, uh, Sujimon, which you put into your Suji decks, and then you report back to the Sujimon professor on how your, your dex completion is going. Because this is the kind of game it is. Yeah, it's it's pretty great. I, d I don't know what numerical rating I would give this game, but uh, 
It's it's up there. Well. Alright. Be still, would you? I'm up. Ooh, there we go. Cool. Games are mostly wacky with a lot of mini games. Yeah, that's uh, that's accurate. That's that's pretty much what this game is. The you know I think what's funny about it is like the range of mini games. The things you do in the mini games are so varied. Um, okay, yeah. So now some of these guys are a little higher level. Take this. Uh, you know I've had a mini game about not fall, trying not to fall asleep during a boring movie. Um, I've... What are some of the other minigames I've done? Uh... There's a management minigame where I'm trying to run a small business, a small sweet shop. And that one is very in-depth. I don't totally understand it, to be honest. Let's see. Let's go! Mini car races and loved watching that. Yeah, in the previous game too. So I don't know. I don't know how to get the car races because I, I think I found where the carts are the other day, uh, but I I don't know how to, I don't know how to get the go carts. I don't know if I just haven't unlocked them or not. I did find batting cages. When I was just like, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna wander around. I found uh, batting cages. There's like there's a lot of arcades where you can play games in the game. So. Um, I've played a number of classic Sega arcade games. There's UFO catchers. Get little plushes and stuff. Ooh, I'm getting, you know what I'll say, they're dropping a ton of stuff. Um, so it seems like there's a lot of, a lot of resources I'm getting. Also, I don't really, I don't know, is this procedurally generated? Is this a different map than the map I was on before? Whoops, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, yeah, it's kind of fun. You know, I've gotten very distracted <laughs> during streams and just started playing like Virtual Fighter, uh, which I was very, very bad at. And that's something I know about myself now. The things you learn about yourself playing playing Yakuza. Right. You don't think so? Is this the same? You don't think so that this is the same map, or you don't think so that this is a different map? It might be the same. I honestly kind of don't remember what the map looked like. Oh, what what a what a gleeful dance! What a what a haunting, a haunting and gleeful dance. Gosh, he just gave Ichi a disease. You're gonna here we go. Oh yeah? Try this on your side. Give it your all I got this. I'm ready. I'm up. Oof. That was a brutal, brutal popsicle hit. Oh my gosh, everyone's got a cold. <laughs> yeah, it's a giant uh, popsicle or ice cream. I'm not sure. It just the description says it's a frozen confection. Uh, which is actually not the most ridiculous um, weapon I've had in this game so far. Some kind of small road sign. I mean, that wouldn't be out of place in this game. Uh, whoops. No, not first person mode. Uh, this way, this way, this way, this way. Nope, can't go that way. Can only go, it's kind of hard because you can't really tell, Pfft, another screenshot, uh, where, the places are like blocked off, but let's see. Cause I've been this way already. I think 
I need to go back up and down. Yeah, 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 this is it. This is it. I feel good about this, people. <laughs> feel as good as you can feel when you're wandering the sewers. Nope, this is back where I came in. Okay, well. Maybe I just need to pick a direction and go in it. So just bash into all of my party members. They they put up with a lot. They really do. I need to applaud them. I really hope I don't end up regretting coming back down here. It's gonna be the rest of my life. So the red, so the, the, like the radar with the enemies, I, I thought, so I was avoiding that because I thought that these had, these are people that had respawned, um, but I think I was just wrong about that. So I think I can follow, I think I can follow the red dots. I think that's actually a sound strategy. I thought I was backtracking. Here we go. Bring it on. Uh, yeah, we're, we're good for now. Oh no, he interrupted me, darn. It's like half the time I think I'm gonna get interrupted, I do. Oh no, he's gonna spray detergent at me. Let's go. Uh let's get a little Let's go. that aggro. Let's go! Oh. Oh wow, he cured his status effect with detergent powder. I didn't even know they could do that. <laughs> no, I think you're right, Sir Baron. I, I think... I think you are correct. See, I need to just trust the, trust the dots. Spraying detergent in 2020. <laughs> Well, did you notice one of the enemies I fought in the last battle is like just a dude with a disease and he like breathes on you and gives you a cold. Like, man, that's, that's too real. You can't put that in a video game. It'll make people think of real life. <laughs> Military buffed. Go away. I'm ready now. Take this. Let's go. Don't need any Tide Pods, but they look so good. The most forbidden snack of all. You know what I always want to eat is a uh, D and D dice. Like there's so many of them that look so tasty. Get alive. You're gonna be in a world. Are you quick enough? Let's go. Right. Yeah, the see-through ones, exactly, Sir Baron. They're like a little jelly-like, or like a hard candy, kind of Jolly Rancher-like too. A lot of them have that that kind of like hard candy look. Yeah. Oh, or if they have sprinkles in them? Yeah, 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 yeah. Those look delicious. Excellent. See, I'm glad you feel me. Sometimes people, when I talk about wanting to eat dice and other inedible things, they look at me. They judge me, but not you. A headed boy kickstarted a set of dice with a liquid core? <gasps> that sounds super cool and super edible, honestly. That sounds delicious. <laughs> it's like a gusher. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little auto ban one. <laughs> oh, the gusher thing? Yeah. When are they gonna get there, you had a boy? Try this on your side. This is my Go in 
gosh, Adachi is just such a beast. <laughs> Forbidding gushers, yes, exactly. Exactly. That's my vibe. Now I want these also. Just I haven't even seen them, just from your description of them. March or April. Can you wait that long for the forbidden snack? But eight-headed boy, what are your thoughts on Tide Pod deliciousness? <laughs> Do you want to eat them? That is that is the important question. I know, yeah, it's I mean We're pulling out the knives. We're we're not here to play anymore. <laughs> we got serious. Toy bracelet, okay. <laughs> you cannot with the gushers, or with the, with the gushers, with the Tide Pods, that's fair. See, I called them gushers, that's how edible I think they are. That was one of those things, it's just like a weird thing that I always thought, and then once, once I realized other people felt that way, um, I said there were others like me. <laughs> I'm not the only one, and that's beautiful. Okay, so I think I think enemies are respawning because the the new red dots. I think I've almost certainly been in that room before. Ooh, but a safe. Should I open it? Got it. This is like mementos in Persona. It's like a whole. Uh... Why did I just get a hobo badge? Not sure what that means. Oh, oh, are these these are the stairs right here? I don't know why I can see them now, but um, okay. See, like this, like, I, I think this is a dead end, but it's not like, there's nothing that actually indicates that. Uh, so it's a little, little tough to navigate. Yeah, uh, it seems like there are, because that one room was not on the map. I mean, this is totally kind of a bonus leveling and, uh, and, uh, XP kind of area. Okay, I'm going to see what this attack actually looks like, because I didn't actually get to see it last time. Okay, disappear. And now I don't know when he's gonna come back. There are marked enemies in the darkness. Oh, okay. Right. Maybe I should try and make my way. Make my way to the darkness. <laughs> that sounds that sounds more foreboding than uh, than I think it actually will be. Oh no, a live interview. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Okay, that was actually an awesome attack, because he was not- he was like invulnerable the whole- the whole turn. Because he disappeared. So I am about that life. Hey! Sometimes when I'm not expecting an attack, I'm legitimately like, hey, dude, what? What are you doing? You can't just attack people you don't know. Okay, so this is also a new area. Okay. Mental supplements. Kids, don't take mental supplements that you find in the sewers. Do, do as I say, not as I do. Don't, don't, uh... Don't take sewer supplements. Watch me. Take this. Here we go. Take That attack animation. Actually, all their attack animations, like... That's- that's disturbing. I think we can all agree. Eating the food you find there is equally questionable. I mean, I found a half-eaten bento on the ground, uh, before I entered the sewer. And that honestly might be the sketchiest thing of all. I'm gonna consume it. But it's clearly half-eaten. It's in the item description. I 
Uh, can you stop doing that? Pain in the ass. Let's go. Good stop. Oof, up against the wall. It was brutal. A mysterious mushroom. Hey, there's another thing. Uh, I, I don't know if you should eat if you find it in the sewer. I'm not totally sure. Hey, Tesla, what is up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, but yeah, my mysterious mushrooms, mental supplements, all of the things I'm finding in the sewer. <laughs> like, what are all? I, I mean, what are all these people doing in the sewer? I, I just have so many questions about this area. You should, you shouldn't eat mushrooms no matter where you find them. That's probably true. I mean, I love eating mushrooms as a food item. I agree you should not eat them. Eat mushrooms that you you yourself find. In general. Yeah, but it's like, what are they up to down here? What's what's their end game? What's their deal? They're just channeling haunting energy. Like they're like, they're like a cult or something. Am I, am I fighting cult members this whole time? Oh, a, a lustful energy. What is happening? <laughs> conjuring the old ones. They 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 dropped. They ate all their mushrooms they found, and then they conjured the old ones. That's what happens when you take the mental supplements you find in the sewer. Uh, I'm gonna just disappear again. That was very effective last time. <laughs> yeah, I think these dudes just dropped them all. Oh no, 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 Sako! Oh no, don't pile up on her! Oh my gosh. That's cool. Thank goodness. Uh, hey, can we maybe get our friend back? Yeah, look at them go. It's true. They're... They're amped up. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Much better. I'm so excited when it works. It doesn't work every time. So it's honestly very, uh, very exciting when it does work. Good times. <laughs> uh, man, this this is a great new character. I have to say, I'm I'm very excited about this new party member. Ah, oh, oh, yes, the high end kimchi. Unreliable resurrections. Yeah, actually, it, it's the first time I've ever seen that mechanic too. Um, I can't think of another game that has that kind of unreliable resurrection. And at first, I didn't like it. Um, I was like, this kind of sucks, like, just let me revive my party members, but now... It's kind of, it's like emotionally interesting, because every time I'm like, oh my gosh, bring her back! It's almost always Sako that gets knocked out. <laughs> um, oh, this guy seems dangerous. Uh, so I don't know, it's kind of like an interesting... It's interesting. I'm, I'm coming around to the unreliable revive. Although, I'm saying that now because it just worked and I'm happy. Like, if next time it doesn't work, I'll probably be like, this is a stupid choice. Why did they do this? I hate this. Uh, if I'm, if I'm in, the, in the heat of battle and I'm angry. Hey, what's up, Maiza? Yes, I know, Namba. We saw Namba. He just ran away again. Uh, I don't know. He's, he's being weird. Namba's... Namba's kind of being a sad boy right now, but yes, uh, and his attacks are bananas. 
Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm actually gonna restore his MP right now so we can uh, use them again. But he has really cool like like going invisible attacks and like uh, like very kind of like status effect inducing things. Uh, I want to do just MP, but I never have that. Final Fantasy Tactics has unreliable revive. Oh, you're yeah, it does, A-Headed Boy. I don't know why I forgot about that. It's never been done in any game. Oh wait, it's been done in a game I have played. What do you think about it? What do you think about it in Tactics, A-Headed Boy? How do you feel about it? Like, it's, I don't know, it's just interesting. It's a different, it's a different feel. My turn. Take your best shot. A gift for you. Man, that the, the unless they're weak to guns or something, the uh, the MP to uh, to damage ratio on that attack is not quite there. You're gonna be in a yeah, we'll just keep doing our magic songs. Final Fantasy Tactics is the best Final Fantasy game of all time. I say that so often that my autocomplete finished that sentence for me. That's a, that's a vibe. That's a vibe, eight headed boy. Let's <laughs> go. Tactics Ogre? What is that? That sounds so familiar. I feel like I just remember that being a game uh, that I never played. Ooh, let's see. Uh, let's see the new Essence of Mayhem uh, uh, move. Simple and excellent. That's how I would describe the character, honestly. The best game ever, stream it. What is it? I'm assuming it's a tactical RPG. Man, this guy is hardy! He has like... He's really surviving everything. Oh no, I need to get something that makes me sleep proof. Don't cast hexes on us. Good to go. This has got to be like, I, I mean, we're near the stairs. This must be the end of, uh, the end of, like, the dungeon area, just because this is, uh, like, th these guys are, like, ten times more intense than anything else that's happened in this dungeon. No, 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 don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, I need to get him armor. I didn't buy him any armor. Sorry. Okay, we'll see. See, now we'll see if I'm like, I hate the inconsistent revival mechanic. Dragon Quest, there are two revive spells, Zing and Kazing. Technically, in D&D, revives can also be considered unreliable. That is true. Oh, no, it didn't work. That's okay. Um, that's true. Also, that's a good point with the... Uh, I mean, D&D has such an interesting... Revive slash death mechanic. Just in general. 
Like, I don't like this. Yeah, you have to decide how you feel about a mechanic when you're not actively playing the game sometimes. Because it's like, well, now I just want it to work. To revive my sweet character. That's true, yeah. Less revives equals more dramatic deaths. Uh, you know, I'm I'm like two games into this new D&D campaign and uh, uh, someone almost someone almost ate it last weekend. Like already. But that was due to poor life choices. You make bad life choices. You're a lot more likely to die. Here we go. Uh, I play 5e. I've only played 5e because I didn't. I didn't get into D and D until, um, you know, it was it was pretty recent, within the last the last like three years or so. So I've actually never played any of the other versions. Right. The, these people just have like infinite. Uh, do I have a do I have a revive item? Take your best shot. I feel like I do. With, like half HP. Did I use all of those? I don't even remember what item it was. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Played Pathfinder, which is DMD 3.5e. Oh, you know, I've always been curious about Pathfinder and uh, uh, Starfinder. Is that that's like the other system, right? But Pathfinder, um, I've always wondered about it. It seems so interesting. I know people are really kind of passionate about it, but I've never played it. Starfinder is dank. It seems dank. <laughs> Uh, is dank is honestly like one of the strongest reviews you can you can give for me. <laughs> right. If you just describe a game system as dank, I'll be like, yeah, man. I'll check that out. Come ready. Thank you. Let's go. D and D with a lot more choices and much more complicated. Interesting. Is it more complicated mechanically, or is it more complicated, like narratively, or both? Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of revives. Killing me here. Mechanically, Starfinder is Pathfinder in space. Okay, my understanding was that Starfinder was Pathfinder in space, but uh, I wasn't totally sure if that was the case or not. There we go. Let's not do that again. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Yeah, that's that's reasonable. <laughs> that is that is very reasonable. I'll I'll try. I'll try to take better care of you, my friend. Simple earrings. Mysterious leaves. <laughs> Uh-oh. Brain enhancing medicine mushrooms and now mysterious leaves. I think I think our work here is done. <laughs> oh wow, that was just one level. That was just one level of the dungeon. Okay. Use the ladders you find inside to return to the ground floor. Be careful not to push yourself too far ahead. Okay, so I have like an opt out. I have an opt out point at any point. That makes me feel better at least. Uh, I'm not gonna put anything in the box. I might actually go back up above ground. Uh, Cause I'm not trying to like grind for any particular enemies or items. And I think some of the people 
above ground were actually higher level uh, than they are down here. But I, li I like this, uh, you know, it kind of has that, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you call this. Like, like uh, you know, a risk-taking feel of, like, do you want to push on to the next floor or not? But I'm going to come. Oh, nope. I'm going to be a city boy, <laughs> not a sewer boy anymore. I've gotten enough. Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 and Icewind Dale 1 were based on D&D 2. See, all the old, all everything before 5e is just like a blank, a blank page for me. I've DM'd a couple of campaigns of heavily modded Starfinder to work in a cyberpunk setting, but the Rona paused that. Oh, that's a bummer. That sounds really cool, actually. Cyberpunk Starfinder. So you're you're just in so Sir Baron, you're just in on cyberpunk as like a as like an aesthetic and setting choice, not not just the not just 2077. You're you're pro cyberpunk as as a concept. I saw Humble Bundle had a, a cyberpunk uh, a bundle that was just like cyberpunk fiction and like cyber like cyberpunk things. Um, that's cool. I can I can get behind that. Yeah, those sewers were a mess. I'm done. That's kind of one of the reasons I left. I'm like, there's just a weird energy down here. I don't, I don't, I don't really feel the energy down here. <laughs> to a big Shadowrun fan. What's that book? What's the the book? Uh, the novel that's like the cyberpunk. Uh, crap. What's the name of that book? Neuromancer. Um, right. That's kind of like the original cyberpunk. Genre definer. I've never read that. <laughs> what was uh. that? <laughs> the elderly kimchi vendor. Oh no, we're gonna have to help this elderly kimchi vendor. Ooh. His kimchi too spicy. Want to buy some kimchi? I'm not mad. <laughs> not pro cyberpunk, as in I hope I, our world ends up like that. But love the theme and fantasy in those settings. That's. That's a good distinction. That's a good distinction. Not pro cyberpunk, as in, I will try to shepherd the world toward a cyberpunk setting. Ah. <laughs> that's that's a good distinction. To earn a living, of course. Making making kimchi. Y'all have a little kimchi. Hmm? <laughs> Out of your pot of kimchi. Just, just a pot of kimchi and nothing else. <laughs> Y'all kimchi fans? I'm, I'm a kimchi fan. I, I love fermented stuff in general. <laughs> this is more than a kick. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Is this gonna be a weapon? Can I like buy this to throw at people now? You bastard! <laughs> it was like chewing hot glass. Oh, that's very, that's visceral as a description. <laughs> a spice wore off. That was pretty good. <laughs> it's got a sour pepperiness. It says so spicy, it unlocked a hidden flavor. Yo. Tell me, Gramps, what's in this kimchi? <laughs> to make this concoction, I used a secret pepper. Okay. The Devil's Claw. That sounds like it would be a real hot pepper. I don't think it is, but... Mm. Sounds like something people would be into. Like people, you know those people that are like super into hot sauces? That are like, I just eat the most spicy things I can find. What's that? There's like a unit. There's a unit of spice measurement. Y'all know what I'm talking about? What is that? Like hot sauces are measured in a unit of spice. Sichuan peppers. Oof. I like a Sichuan pepper. Kimchi works wonders on health, especially the skin. <laughs> Not on your skin, presumably. Internally. 
No one's ever died eating kimchi. <laughs> oh, oh no, he's sad. We have to help him. Scoville. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, Aaron. <laughs> nice job. Pl plus 10 sweater points. <laughs> See, I'm glad you all know what I'm talking about. I was like, if <laughs> I'm just going to sound crazy over here. <laughs> it seemed like it was an S thing. But I could not remember at all. Ugh. Why doesn't he just make it- wait, why doesn't he just make his kimchi less spicy? <laughs> Did I miss something? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm not mad. D&D 2 stat system is unintuitive and used for CRPG. People playing all those CRPGs without it being used mm. to D&D- Without being used to D&D 2 are going to allocate their stats terribly <laughs> in Boulder's Gate. Yeah, I, I haven't played any CRPGs, like, from that era. Um, I've only played newer CRPGs. Like Divinity Original Sin, which you've all probably heard me praise highly. I, you know, I haven't really gotten... I started Boulder's Gate. Um, the new one, but I heard, like, they're gonna... They're changing the plot, and, like, stuff is gonna get wiped anyway, so I kind of... I didn't kind of bother to get that far in it. I don't know if that's happened yet or not, um, the update they had planned, but I kind of kind of waiting for it to be a little more solidified, I think, until I really get into it and spend time in it. This seems cool so far. Love spicy stuff. I had a spicy sauce and pepper tasting with friends. Went pretty bad, was, but was fun. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, your... <laughs> your... Your... Your hot pepper thing went badly? That's not what you want to hear. What happened? I mean, probably exactly what I'm thinking went badly, went badly, right? Like... <laughs> what, what is this area? It had like a special thing on the map. I don't know what this is. I've definitely been in here before. What is this? Oh, wow! Oh, oh! <laughs> I feel like I... Really walked in on something. Oh my goodness. We don't serve drinks here. The bottles are the prizes for winning the shochu cup. Oh, okay. We had sauces from fairly spicy to the single spiciest one in the country. It was great, but when we got to the peppers, it got questionable. Oh no. <laughs> I feel like if that goes badly, it goes really badly. Well, the second spiciest sauce in the country. That seems pretty hardcore to me. <laughs> Wandering a forbidden place like this if you visit Japan. Yeah, fisticuff. We, we know something about that, right? Play Mahjong with us. I don't know how to play Mahjong. That's the problem um, with Mahjong is that I don't know how to play it. <laughs> That's not a, pro a general problem with the game of Mahjong. Uh, the way I phrased it, that's my problem with playing Mahjong, is that, uh... I just have no idea how it's played, and, like, from trying to play Shogi earlier in the game, I know there's no tutorial. They're not gonna teach me how to play it. If there was a tutorial, I would 100% play it, but, uh... You can all just- could watch me struggle to, like, have no idea what I'm doing in Mahjong. Uh, yes. Sweet. Supposed to try four peppers, the chocolate habanero, something scorpion, ghost pepper, and the Carolina Reaper. Hmm. I feel like I've heard of like two of those. The chocolate habanero sounds more delightful than spicy. Oh, this is the same staircase. Okay, I think this is just a mahjong area. I don't think there's anything else going on here. Okay, well, uh, in that case, what is this? What is this on the map? That's what I was trying to figure out, is like, what? 
What's going on here? Is there a directory? Can I figure this out? Okay, so Citron is the Mahjong place, but like, what is... Like, cause this is just gonna... Ooh, that was a good find. Go back down where the Mahjong place is. The heck? Mahjong is like gin rummy. I used to know how to play, but I don't remember anymore. Oh no, I don't know how to play, uh, I don't know how to play gin rummy either. I don't know, I don't know why, like, I don't know how to play any card games. Uh, I'm basically down for all games all the time, but I think, I think growing up I didn't play a lot of card games, and now I just, like, don't know any. And I'm too afraid to ask. Um, <laughs> worldwide weed? <laughs> Man, this is, a, this is a happening little plaza right here. Okay, I'm just gonna give up on figuring out what this is, I think. And I am going to stop messing around and uh, actually go to the next thing, I think. I think it's that time to head that way. Um, unless there's one more hero quest I can do. Oh, there is. It's just, it's gonna be a sad state of affairs if I end up underleveled again. I feel like I'm probably good now, but... The first one was great, and but I chewed it too long and it was intense. When we got to the scorpion, it started burning immediately. Unimaginable pain. Everything was horrible. And all there was was pain. Oh no. Um, that sounds, that sounds very, very rough. <laughs> I bet that's one of those things that's very comical uh, in retrospect, but uh, at, at the time was not funny at all. That actually sounds terrible. That was actually, uh, that's only happened to me once. Like just, I, I bit into a pepper that like, I don't know what this pepper was, but it was like, it was an evil pepper. It was like the worst thing ever. I was just like crying. <laughs> it was so bad. They're wiping the plot of Boulders of Boulders Gate 3. That's surprising for a single player R CRPG. So I think they're they're not like totally wiping the plot. They're like redoing parts of the story and I think they're like wiping save data. I don't know. Somebody that knows more about it than me. Um Feel free to feel free to jump in because I could be wrong, but I they're like doing something where they're they're changing enough stuff around that I didn't really want to get into it yet until it's kind of more settled. A day later, we realized we tried the last one second. So the spiciest, so the spiciest non-synthetic pepper. Oh man. <laughs> I mean, if you're all going through it together, maybe that makes it more tolerable because you can kind of like laugh and cry together uh at the same time oh no this is the this is the one this is the one arcade this is a haunted spot i can't go here i can't go to that arcade that particular one <laughs> it's a cursed location watch me you're gonna get away with this Take this. Don't move. You're gonna get stopped. Most people stopped at the sauces. Only four of us went to the peppers. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine if you got up to like the second spiciest hot sauce there was. Right. Uh, have you all ever had, I don't remember if I talked about this on stream before, but uh, has anyone tried Miracle Berries? Um, AKA flavor tripping. They're like, it's like these little tablets you take. They're like extracted from some kind of berry, uh, but it makes sour things taste sweet. So you can like bite into a lemon and it tastes really sweet. It's like a really weird, if you're into like sensorial experiences, uh, that, that's a non-painful one to consider trying. Never had a friend that did. 
wanted to get them. Yeah, you know, I got mine on Amazon. I, this was a while ago, so I don't know if they're still on Amazon or not. Um, but yeah, it, it's fun to like try with people. Like, if you're just sitting there doing it by yourself, I don't know how. I don't know how interesting it would be. Um, it would probably still be pretty interesting, honestly. But uh, yeah, as so you can like, it makes like sweet things just taste wild. Uh, and sour things taste sweet, so like, you know, like, like eating a lemon is the classic thing to do. Um, but the thing that kind of sucks about it is if you, you know, if you're eating a lemon and it tastes sweet, you don't stop eating the lemon, uh, but you're still getting, like, the amount of acid a lemon has. And it turns out, like, there's a reason, uh, humans just don't enjoy eating, like, whole lemons, uh, cause it's... That that aspect of it is pretty unpleasant if you if you get through like you know too much, too much sour sour food. Um, yeah, I don't really need to go to any of these places. Cause I need to I need to help I need to help these people. Be an enlightening experience, but a sad one. <laughs> Doing it by yourself, yeah, probably. Although I don't know, not to not to discourage anyone. Sometimes you just need to take a solo flavor trip. I don't know. Where's this part-time hero? Been framed as a thief, and now I'm being asked to hang hand over my belongings. Believe me when I say I haven't stolen a thing. This is happening near the parking structure. Uh oh. This could get rough. In Rona season, it's better that way. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, not to not to encourage any uh, irresponsible flavor journeys for now. And do it on Zoom, a, a Zoom flavor party. Or a Zoom hot sauce party. You could totally do that, actually. Watch me. You're gonna get I know some people did the, uh... Did the, like, uh, Thanksgiving on Zoom thing, like, eating together. There's that whole social eating category on, on Twitch, too, right? I'm up! Does anyone who streams in, in social eating categories ever do stuff like that? Like, eat, <laughs> eat along at home with me. <laughs> if you hadn't been there, that jerk would have taken everything I had. Well, he didn't, because I was here. Your hero with finesse, Ichi. And I got some lumber. Um, I have to say... I realized something when I was looking at my tasks. And that is I have had where where like where is this guy? I've had um this guy waiting for bookshelf materials for so long at this point and I don't remember like where <laughs> I don't remember where he is. Um Darn. I mean, I guess, like, a lot of these side quests are kind of like, I guess if I run into it again, I'll do it. But if I don't organically run into these people again, I, I guess I'll just, like, never see them again. Let's see. Let's go to, uh... Nah. I'm good. Never checked that category. Yeah, I actually, I haven't watched it. I just saw that that was, uh... When I did my cooking stream, I was kind of looking through some of the, like, cooking and eating related options, uh, and I saw that that was one of them on there. It's not a time-limited event. Oh, the, uh, the quest, yeah, none of the quests really... Time doesn't, like, pass, I think, uh, in this game, really, so the, the quests all just stay open forever, I think. Mr. Obvious, uh -huh. Mr. Obvious is so mean. Why isn't he nicer to me? <laughs> what? No. Put put the pin where I want the pin to go. There we go. Oh my gosh. Sometimes when, when people are yelling, I'm like, please just go away. I don't want to fight you. Oh no, it's more of these cult people. The Arch Vagrant. Oh no. So enemies definitely are leveling based on my level. It's one of those games. I thought it was by area, but uh, even when I go back to older areas, there are more powerful enemies there now. 
so I'm not sure. I'm, I'm assuming bosses don't, though. I'm assuming I, I can level out in the world, uh, and I'll still the, be benefiting because the boss's level won't change. I'm assuming. Yeah, and I kind of didn't realize they were scaling. Uh, and I was like, man, why do I feel like... I, I never get to the point I feel like I'm rolling over people, uh, but that's why, because they're scaling. And I didn't know that, and now I feel kind of silly. But yeah, again, like, I, I assume usually, you know, it's, it's still advantageous to be leveling. Oh, I... do you all see that? My life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> Ichi remembered his first childhood memory in that moment. Um... Oh, nope. I actually don't want to buy any sweets. I actually would like to do a business. That's right. I'm like, if I just check in once, <laughs> once every stream or once every few streams, uh, hopefully I'll this. not run this business completely into the ground. Um, okay. These people are all fine, I guess. 30,000 for all of them. Oh, they're all kind of like the same. Wow. This guy's gonna be real good at shareholder meetings, so we'll take him. Uh, ooh, they're actually both pretty good, too. That's right, I'm, I'm hiring people when I don't actually have properties to, to put them on yet. We're gonna open a new property. Yeah, what a crew! <laughs> I mean, I think this is still my favorite crew. Like, this is this is definitely the most ragtag team we have um, on on the original site, which the original site is just not. It's it's a loss leader, man. It's not a, it's not really doing much for us. Um, well, obviously, I can't afford this. Um, but let's see. I could grab like this, maybe a coin laundry. A restaurant that's buried in debt. I don't think I want that. Maybe one of these cheaper properties. Property maintenance expense. Yeah, this seems legit. Oh, oh, I can't, I can't get more properties yet. Oh, okay. I mean, I wish I could make this one better. I don't know how to make it better. Yeah, this is still, I guess, the best I can do. Oh no, I shouldn't have hired those people because I don't actually have a place to put them at. Uh, hey, employees? Uh, I have some not great news for you. Um, no, I don't want to hire. I would actually... I like to do the opposite of hiring some of these people. Uh, these people are all assigned somewhere. Why did I... Why did I hire these people? Eh, it's fine. They're good employees. We'll just, we'll run we this and then chopped. hopefully we can buy another thing. Oh, I feel like I just need another investment. Our original shop just sucks, man. I think we did really well. We hit target profits. Great job, guys. All right, let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on! That's what I'm talking about. Our ranking went up. Oh, I felt like didn't move the needle at all. Now an instructor for the employee development seminar. Employees are expected to develop significantly. Uh, I have enough people, thank you. The shareholders meeting is coming up soon. Uh, 
but yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> sorry, people I just hired. Uh... <laughs> um, yeah, so you just kind of have to keep, like, running... I feel like uh, there's probably some to really do. deep strategy to the, the business management part. Firing them just before Christmas, oh no. <laughs> oh no, the employees are discontent. They saw me firing that guy before Christmas and they're mad at me now. You say, how could you? So heartless. If I give them more money at the original location, will they... Be less sad. Great job, guys. Are going up. I just I don't need anyone. The shareholders meeting is about to begin. Okay, oh he's super okay, he's super pissed off. Um oh probably because he's a part-time employee. I'll promote him. Now he's a contract employee. Is he happy now? Are you happy? Oh my gosh, there's like management training. Okay. Oof. All right, I'm gonna do one. <laughs> I'm gonna do one shareholder meeting. Uh, yeah, this is still this is still a pretty good big good good crew, I think. Consider the shareholders. Hand. We'll start with the three ghosts. My visit. That's a mini game. The three, the three ghosts visit you. Mini game. If that happened, how surprised would you be? Gosh, can you all? Thank you. Let's move on. Can you all chill a little bit? Please raise. Save my Let me 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 save my um, as much as I absolutely love that, uh, that Omelette just clucks at them, I think she's actually not quite as persuasive. Oh no, he's unconvinced. Uh oh. I feel like she's actually always super effective when she just tells people respect your elders. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm gonna have to use a special. We're gonna need a level 3 special. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Why is this guy locked? Ah! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This guy's tough! No! Oh, that went badly. I need to give her executive training so she can get better at, at clucking. Well, my last... Oh no! I'm exhausted. Oh no! tanking. Oh no! That dude I took the investment from, was he legit? Is he, is he gonna come murder me at how badly I'm doing at this sweet shop? Ranking dropped. Oh my gosh. Uh, not sure why I got an executive reward for that. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna leave. I'm, I'm, I, oh, I, look at, look at her. Look at her. Oh my gosh. 
Omelets, Ned. Okay, who, who else is mad? Who else is mad? Oh my gosh, everyone's mad. This is why I didn't do well in the board meeting. They all, uh... They all were angry. They're all so mad at me. Okay, here, why don't we do some training? Oh, that's very, very expensive. I uh, guess I'm not gonna do any training. <laughs> this corporation simulation is so real, you still got a bonus as the CEO even after that. <laughs> That's really what makes this uh, this make makes this uh, a true a true simulation. The CEO still uh, still pays himself a bonus. Uh, man, I feel so bad for this woman. I can't I can't even look her in the eye. I can't even look at this poor woman that trusted me with her family business. I'm- I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. I just feel too badly now to go on. <laughs> As I laugh it up. Do I really feel that badly? I actually do. I actually... Felt pretty bad seeing her face after that. I know Ichi feels bad. That's what makes that's what makes me feel bad. Ichi and I are really on the same page. Don't fight me. I, I can't. I just can't. I'm too defeated. I can't deal with you people right now. You walk Should past something it? a million times Gosh. and don't even see it. <laughs> Binding. Awesome. Oh, oh, oh! It's like a bunch of stuff back here. Should I open it? Sweet. <laughs> I, w I was wondering that uh, actually. I uh, I wasn't sure if you knew what was going on there. Man, I need to wander in alleys more. <laughs> oh! Huh, not totally sure how that happened then. Like, you have your own special letter to use in chat. Apparently. Alright, is anybody ready for me to have a heartfelt conversation with- Ooh, everyone is. Okay. We're doing this. It's almost 4 a.m. and I'm on my phone. Does happen. Yo, Sachan. I'm oh, impressed you're being uh, Perfect timing. uh lucid at all if it's 4 a.m. your What's time. Up? Oh, is it about Nanua? Yeah. I worked up the courage to call her and asked if she'd been caught up with any bad guys lately. And how'd that go? Um well, So I feel like I need to fill those in who haven't seen. So she's her sister. Is dating a bad good, huh? boy. I gotta say, I wouldn't have started with the bad guys line. <laughs> and she's trying to trying to help her right sister. Yeah. By I being know. nosy, quite frankly. All that matters is getting Nanoha away from that bullpack. <laughs> I don't know. She says, uh-uh. We've been apart for so many years. I was probably way out of line to tell her to break up with her boyfriend. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't even take my calls if she knew I've been checking up on her this entire mm -hmm. time. But at least she still doesn't realize I know about her being employed at a soap. Oh, company. also, her sister was a she prostitute for a while. Not ever. But I'll we can't let her know, know that she knows I have to. about this. But how do I help her without letting on what I know? If I do nothing, Game is such a soap opera. might bankrupt her and she'll end up right back at the soap land. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm freaking out! Oh, goodness. Uh, uh. Uh, uh... Calm down, Sachan. If I calm down, then what? That doesn't solve anything! Hey, maybe they'll just break up on their own. Winter's a popular time to <laughs> There was no, her. like, non-option that wasn't gonna Why make her mad. Because, you know, women change their minds during winter. What's the saying? A woman's mind and winter wind change often? Or some shit? Ugh, idiot. 
You're about to feel the winter wind of my foot up your ass. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Ugh. I can't believe you'd say something so oh my stupid gosh. right now. Well, um, hey. At least it seems my. I feel like telling her to calm down and drink it. herbal tea Only would be a little bit more condescending than what out. I said. But okay. geez. What else can we do? There has to be something. Well, I guess they were all really supposed to be stupid options. Not on how to dump them. I don't know. Mm. <sighs> Wait, we've been looking at this all wrong. We need to get Katsuragawa to stay <gasps> away from Nanaka. Yes, let's the sabotage their relationship. Beat him up and run him out of town? If he were the kind of guy to give up just like that, sure. But he probably isn't. Especially now that he knows Nanoha's willing to be his piggy bank. If we screw this up, he might even take her with him when he bails. Oh, goodness. I can't let that happen. I think what we gotta do is crush his pride. Like, <laughs> get Nanoha to break up with him without shedding a single tear. As if he's nothing to her. And how do we do that? It's so obvious, Sachan. <laughs> this is so yet? bad. Yeah, Tonight, I don't know what kind of saying that is, Sir Baron. I don't think that's a saying. Them. Use the twin angle to your advantage. Oh yeah, also they're identical yeah. twins. March in and tell Katsuragawa you never. Because this is a soap again. opera. This I'll is her identical twin sister. While you give him the boot, that'll have him running. <laughs> I see. That might actually work. Let's do it. All we need is to find out where Katsuragawa is hanging out. Your employees could probably do that, right? No problem. I'll tell the girls. Like a real telenovela. Right exactly. Right. Exactly. You wait for their word. There's twin sisters. The there are mystery babies. I'll be right there with Mistaken you sure identities. Trouble. <laughs> People you it's thought adults. were dead that are not dead. Good thinking today, Ichiban. I'll go tell the girls to start asking around. You tell the girls. Look at look at Ichiban's expression. He's like, yeah, man. I resolved that. Me. <laughs> she and her sister are a handful. And it feels like we're finally gonna wrap this up. <laughs> All right. Who's <laughs> like this character? Yeah, I, I. Uh... Ooh, she can change the dealer job. That's kind of cool. I need her to heal though. Yeah, the characters in this game, I think, are really, really good. I think they're all, uh, they're all appealing in their own way. Hello, Ichi's my favorite, though, because he's a pure, wholesome boy. <laughs> I must say, this place is quite comfortable. Ooh. Yeah, ain't it? Also, quite comfortable. Seriously, man. How's a guy make drinking alone look so cool? <laughs> Guess it's easy when you're as handsome as you. <laughs> That's kind of you to say. Why don't you let me buy you a drink? Yo, for real? <laughs> hey, now you're speaking my language, man. Oh my gosh. Man. Pros for life. You awkward silence. What was <laughs> that awkward silence? <laughs> Sungvi speaks highly of you as well. I dare say it makes me jealous. Mm. Oh, come on. Uh, speaking of, have you been with her long? You've got this butler and butler lady and lady of the, of the house, house thing. thing. Ooh. It's only been three years since I was brought into the Komijul. I can't say it's been long. No shit. Up until then, I was with a group called the Jingon Mafia. I was their leader's body double. Body double? You mean like a decoy? Just like the real thing? Indeed. If my master was ever targeted by our enemies. Oh wow. I was to be killed in his place. Guess their master was also a real was my silver fox Anderson Cooper type. People still did that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, wait, does that mean your face is an imitation? Yes. <gasps> what you see is a result of large-scale <laughs> plastic surgery. Oh dang! But I'll have you know, my previous face was rather handsome as well. <laughs> A shame now. <laughs> Don't worry. I was also Ooh. handsome before my plastic window, surgery. Then, huh? I'm just a handsome guy. In a manner of speaking, yes. So that means Junki Han isn't your real name either, right? What's your real name then? <laughs> Surely we're mm -hmm. not that close yet. I told you all about my really? secret plastic surgery. First step in becoming that friends made me is so handsome. Each other by name, right? Hmm. Well, isn't this awkward? I'm afraid I'm the type to want a bit more distance with people. 
that how it was with the Jingon Mafia? From the name, I'm guessing it was some sort of Korean Yakuza-like thing. Weren't you once a member of the Tojo clan, Kasuga-san? I'm surprised you've never heard of the Jingon Mafia. I was in the clink for a long time. <laughs> yeah, what, anything that happened in that 18 year period. The clan clashed in the 1980s, long before you were serving time. The 80s? Dude, that's 40 years ago. I was just a baby back then. God, I even had hair. <laughs> Ichi yes, without hair? I had to be born myself. Regardless, early in the decade, the Tojo clan attacked the Jingon Mafia and massacred a great number of them. Around 30 or so. 30? Back then, Kamurocho was the most sought-after territory in all of Asia. I've heard the conflicts for control were rather intense. Mm -mm. The Tojo clan was incredibly strong, and they made sure it was a well-known fact. Still, to off 30 of them is... To get their revenge, the Jingon Mafia main arm in Korea sent even more members to Japan. Some of them as undercover agents. But deception is a tricky business. And all who could not strike at the heart I wonder of the if this is real history. Failures and forbidden from returning. In the end, I wonder actually how much of this game is just based on like abandoned and left without things that have happened. One of them happened to be my father. Then you were born here in Japan. Real yes, life people with names changed. May, I don't recall being obviously here. some of the 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 not by any not more outrageous either. range of things that happened in My this game family was treated like slime but I assume from that we people went. you know there was some we research into real life uh, Yakuza and, and whatnot running away whenever we were discovered slimes who run away huh adapted into a soap opera <laughs> Slimes that run away. He's thinking about Dragon Quest. <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny to you? No, I'm sorry. It's just the metal slimes. They, well, you probably <laughs> didn't think about it, but, but that's a classic. <laughs> Believe me, we weren't really going for a video game reference, Kasuga. Of course not. Totally. Um, anyway, the Stray Jingon Mafia. Sorry. Didn't mean to be weird. <laughs> I'm not bothered. You have a certain honesty about you. <laughs> no, both of the last conversations I've something. got confidence up for just saying so stupid things. So what the straight jingon <laughs> after that? In this game, confidence and intellect are, uh, are uh, a binary. <laughs> Enter the 21st century, the winter of 2006. Around the time I turned 20, the Jingon Mafia from the mainland made an all-out assault against the Tojo clan. But even as that happened, the stray Jingon Mafia received not a word of warning. We were left completely in the dark. Our fathers were entirely forgotten by the countrymen that sent them here. You don't say. I might know a guy who could sympathize with that. Oh? Yeah. He's right in front of you. <laughs> I got tossed out by my family and locked up for 18 years. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That must be why I can't bring myself to hate you, Kasuga-san. So, what this happened? This guy sounds a bit like Microsoft Sam. <laughs> Despite their careful planning, they were ultimately crushed by the total. I actually, plan. super dig this dude's voice. Ironically, those that survived came from all over to join those of us in the stray Actually, Mafia. just all the voice. I've talked about this before, but the the voice acting sight. in this both game, I think, is pretty top-notch. And left with no choice but to band together in the social sewer of a country that wasn't theirs. Sounds like you struggled. I wouldn't know it from looking at you, though. I could say the same to you. Yeah, finally starting to warm up to me? Yeah, best buds? It would seem so. I Best haven't buds? been acting much like myself today. I had a great time drinking with you, Kasuga-san. I truly mean that. So whatever happened to the real Junki Han? What's he up to now? He revived the Jingon Mafia roughly three years ago, and at that time had taken over a considerable portion hmm. of Kamurocho. But he was shot in the head and killed. I was absent. Oh no, time. he didn't do the one. <laughs> he had one job. Down, huh? <laughs> Wait. Then that means, can't you use your real name now? Why keep up the body double thing? <sighs> You're, uh, 
You're not trying to become the real Joongi Han, are you? Uh, who can say? But that's none of your Sounds concern. like he is, is trying to do that. Or am I wrong? Nah, uh, you got me there. <laughs> Farewell. Guess he's not the type to open up so easily. <laughs> I'll just have to keep drinking with him. <laughs> Sometimes Ichi's expressions are like I don't I don't know what to make of that. Ooh, yes. Metal slimes. They they give my I love that you have like actual Dragon Quest information. They give so much XP, they have three hit points, evade a lot, and you only do one point of damage against them, and they run away often. So that was like a so that was like a, a very specific reference, it sounds like, to metal slimes and running away. Yeah, that's that's ten out of ten, Maizai. The only the only person, I think, in chat that uh has Dragon Quest knowledge. Yo, -san. Although if anyone hey, else is holding Kasuga. out, Thanks for drop being your Dragon Quest deets. Not a problem. Think of the story we can tell now. You playing a rich guy and me playing your secretary. I thought it suited us perfectly to tell the truth. Now how about I buy you a meal? Hmm? Beef bowl Beef sound bowl. good? Hell yeah. Let's go to Akuhushimaru. What is that? <laughs> That's the beef bowl move. Hey, if someone was like, I'll buy you beef bowl, I'd, I'd be down. What should I get? The new special looks good, but there's also the old standby. Come on, when someone's treating you, you gotta go with just a standard beef bowl. Oh man, really? Well, at least let me get a lot. That's not very fun treating someone. Huh? <laughs> don't get anything extra. Adachi-san. Dragon that... Quest ages ago and don't remember much. Takashi. Hey, I feel like I need to play Dragon Quest Thomas. now to understand this game. Like this, he's gonna know I'm not rich. Right. Didn't think about that. Not, not to mention a rich philanthropist and his secretary eating at a dingy little beef bowl joint looks pretty. Oh weird. yeah. So if you don't know, let's get out of here before Takashi this sees This kid us. Takashi what thinks that he's rich bowl? because he's been sponsoring this kid and sending him money due to like a very very long story. <laughs> so Adachi, hey. who is very not rich, has to pretend to be country. rich. How's it going? Okay. Even though it was a bust, I still think that guy Yamada is a total sucker. <gasps> you gotta try again. Okay, oh no. Just keep the pen pal thing with him going for now, okay? Uh, okay. Come on. We'll come up with a better plan. But he's well, scamming a dodgy. Really rich. You think the two of them could be working together? Dragon Quest 8 is the best, hey. but it's only PS2, DS, and iOS here, Android. Kashi. iOS, really? Oh, wow. Yamada san? What are you guys doing here? <laughs> oh, we're getting beef bowls, cause we're broke. Now tell us what you're doing here. <laughs> you're broke? Yeah, that's right. Mr. Yamada Moneybags was fake. I made it all up. I'm just a jobless old fart named Adachi. Huh? Surprise. Huh? <laughs> Adachi-san was just pretending to be a high roller, so Takashi wouldn't feel bad taking his money. And this is your way of showing thanks? By taking everything I've got? Takashi. If I were you, I'd start apologizing. Adachi san's not the only mm -hmm. one getting pissed off right Fight now. Fight at the beef bowl. We're the ones who need an apology. You've been lying about all this money of yours, and now it turns <laughs> out you're just some bum. What a you twist indeed. No, I'm gonna fuck you up now. Messing with us and stirring up a bunch of shit? You got it coming, man. Screw this. Time for me to kick your ass. Let's go out front. Ah, uh, we all knew it would come to this. <laughs> Everything ends up <laughs> like this eventually. Level 19. Oh, cool. Don't, don't be fighting me at the beef bowl shop at that level. Oh, actually, he has a pretty hearty health meter. But he is weak to bats. Let's go. Oof. Oh my gosh, look at how much money I got. I should beat more scammers. <laughs> God damn. I'm so sorry. Do you have any idea what it's been like to be me these past 20 years? 
Hey, Kosuke. Takashi-kun? I just found this letter in my room. What's this about scraping a bumper and an out-of-court settlement? I don't remember anything about this. Crap. I can explain. Dude, did you pretend to be me to squeeze some money out of Yamada-san? I'm really, really sorry, man. Hang on a sec, you two. Let's get this cleared up. <gasps> yeah, seriously. This letter is the one I sent to Takashi to set a date for the settlement. And you sent it to Takashi Kasumi. <gasps> That's me. But he wasn't actually Takashi! <laughs> <laughs> twist, on twist, on twist. He's my roommate, Kosuke. <laughs> it was Takashi's was roommate, Kosuke, we all along. Students striving to become lawyers. <laughs> then Kosuke gave up on having a real career and started hanging out with some losers. Oh, Kosuke. My guess is they pressured him into impersonating me. He's not the type to stand up to people. <laughs> guess he would have made a crap lawyer. Look, all I did was mention that my roommate had some sweet ass deal where rich guy sends him money every month. <laughs> Hasegawa-san's the one who came up with the scam idea. I'm really sorry. I'd like to apologize as well, Yamada-san. Although... Oh, he knows the truth now. What? How did you know who I was? I've known for a while. Nobody else would have cared about me enough to support me all this time. But you... You fought for my father's innocence until the very end. You know about that? Yes. Oh my god. Even back then, I knew about it. Well, then let me say now what I should have said then. I'm sorry I didn't save your dad, Takashi. Oh my god. Don't apologize. You've already oh helped god. me make sure that nobody else will He's his own mother or something. Because I passed the bar he exam. He passed the bar exam! You what? Oh <laughs> really? You kicked out so exam's excited. ass? I did. They announced the results yesterday. Hot damn! That's great, Takashi! Really? I know. Really what? great! Wow! All, all your help over the years really made a difference. Now, well, if you this, is, me, this is so wholesome. Every yen. But I don't want to keep leaning on you, so I ask that you let your most recent gift be the last. Sure. You don't gotta ask me twice. <laughs> Even though, you know, this time next month I might be a little sad not to help you. Oh, then just keep sending it. After all, I could argue that you legally obligated yourself to keep doing it once you started. Can you? It's just kidding. It's not real. <laughs> I was like, I don't know but if I he passed know. the bar, actually. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Like Takashi couldn't pull the fast one on you, Adachi san. <gasps> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Just for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice that was a wild ride. So big. I mean, that's some <laughs> real leveling up. Becoming a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. God, Takashi must have worked his ass off. Oh, he's a good kid, all right. Oh my gosh. I think your kindness is what taught him to be good. Your kindness taught him to be good. Oh, no. And pass the bar. My money, I'm sure he would have made his dreams come true one way or another. That's just the kind of guy he is. You know, he'll be a great lawyer. He'll help a lot of people. <laughs> I think you're right about that. Oh my gosh. Thanks for everything, Kasuga. Never know where anything is going to go. Sentimental on me. That's not Takashi. I mean, That's Takashi's roommate. Some, some that might be like my favorite yeah, twist so far. Just that whole thing you know, that just happened. Good times. <laughs> I'm glad we met each other. I know. Even but this, I know, it's just like a bar. This is just a friendship leveling I was scene. Just thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> <gasps> nice that the feeling's Besties. mutual. How about we celebrate Takashi passing the test? Yes, Takashi, yeah. our son, to great our son Takashi, and great former detectives. <laughs> Cheers! Oh my Cheers. gosh! Hey, they can order the the whiskey that Namba replaced. Friends on the force. Aw. Oh, that was the Max Bond. So he gets more experience when he's not in the active party. Tag team Nelson Strike. That's a new thing. And he can be a fortune teller. Ooh. Fortune teller. Uh, there's no way he's ever not going to be an enforcer, I think, in my party. But, uh, man, well, obviously there's no topping that. Uh, that's I, I can't even continue the stream because that was so good. Uh, but tomorrow, special stream tomorrow. Among Us, it is happening. I've never played Among Us on stream before. I'm playing with some streamer friends uh, from over on Profs Play, and our very own uh, mod, Eight-Headed Boy, is also going to be joining us. Uh, so at 5 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern Time, 2, 2 p.m. Pacific. Uh, 
Among Us, check it out. It'll be super, super fun. And if not, I will see you all uh, over on Saturday uh, to actually <laughs> continue the story and not just do a million side quests. But peace out all, uh, and I'll see you around the rest of the week.